Welcome to Attention Retention, the podcast where we explore the world of recruitment and retention in the trucking and logistics industry. I'm your host, Jackie McManus, CEO of KJ Media, a recruitment advertising agency specializing in this space. Today, we'll be discussing how to use Facebook ads to recruit top talent. Make sure to like and subscribe on whatever channel you're listening to so you can stay up to date on all future content. Welcome to Attention Retention with Jackie McManus, your source for the latest trends in transportation recruitment and retention. The war for talent has never been fiercer or more competitive than it is right now. The most educated, qualified, and desirable candidates out there have an unprecedented level of choices in employment. And businesses now more than ever before are depending on a really strong employer brand, as well as a well-built-in recruitment funnel for sourcing and hiring top talent. This means pulling strong messaging in a deliberate way, but also means not being shy about leveraging every tool that's at your disposal. Today, we're going to dive deep into Facebook advertising. So let's think about this. Of the 7 billion people on this planet, 2 billion use Facebook at least once a month. Each day, Facebook has more than a billion unique visitors every single day. Its group's functionality attracts users with all sorts of niches, interests, and talents, and its ad platform has some of the most comprehensive targeting options among any social media sites. Specifically for the trucking industry, Facebook has about 2.6 million truck drivers that spend an average of about 50 minutes a day scrolling through the app, keeping in touch with friends and family. Often the best employees already have jobs. Some of the clients that we work with, their greatest employees actually weren't even looking to change jobs. And we call those candidates passive candidates. Facebook alone makes up about 80% of passive candidates. With passive candidates, we are finding an overall higher retention rate than the active job seeker. So let's chat about creating your Facebook recruiting ad. Any great Facebook ad needs great visuals. So our biggest goals with carriers is to make their company the top carrier of choice, to highlight their brand, their values, and bottom line, make it look like they are the only company that this candidate should be working for. Taking some photos with a smartphone, power of an iPhone these days, um, everyone looks like a professional photographer during a company party to highlight your culture and show off some of the people that work for you is a great resource that a lot of our clients utilize. In the ad copy, we tell the candidates what position this company is hiring for and list a few of their amazing work perks, such as guaranteed mile pay, overall average W-2, or 1099 information of an independent contractor. We have call to actions to each candidate to fill out a short form with a follow-up message to the long form application. This is where the ad targeting options come in. People have heard of you may not realize that they are actually in your key demographic and that you're hiring. Facebook's ad targeting is actually mind blowing. You have just have to know exactly what you're looking for. And when you're looking for new team members, what exactly demographics interests should you be targeting for? For most companies that we work with, location is absolutely critical. So you can do geographic targeting within a 35, 50 mile radius of your specific terminal that you are hiring in. Demographics are another great element of Facebook ad targeting. What age group are you targeting? If somebody who is entry level, you'll wanna target a younger crowd. So for example, we have a lot of clients that um, have developed a career growth initiative on behalf of the carrier where they're bringing on 18 year olds to work in the warehouse at 21, they support them getting them CDL drive, uh, jobs and their license and then promote them from within from the, there on. And so with Facebook advertising, we're able to target that audience sector specifically on behalf of our clients. In addition to targeting by age, you can also target based off of Facebook's users' employers job title, the industry that they're interested in, and the type of positions. Often when our firm receives news on a company closing or let's say a terminal shutting down, there is a huge opportunity to serve ads to those employees that are going to be let go. Our team targets candidates that work specifically for that company, 
highlighting the perks on behalf of our clients with a very strong call to action. This tactic has been proven to be successful in getting more drivers, diesel techs, mechanics, and warehouse workers, and giving them an opportunity to find a new comp company very easily. Interests are also another important aspect of Facebook ad targeting. You can target your recruitment marketing ad to people who have certain interests. So for example, a lot of the interests include truck drivers, uh, trucking, Peterbilt, Freightliners, for example. And more than likely, the people that are following these types of profiles are either a truck driver or interested in becoming a professional CDL driver. Facebook advertising allows you to run ads on both Facebook and Instagram, because they do own Instagram, and target users based on a number of factors, including all of the different levels that we mentioned before. This helps you serve ads on both platforms. So you're able to actually create the ad, create the ad copy, create the story, create the video within Facebook ads and publish it not only on Facebook, but on Instagram as well. So for example, right now, a lot of our clients are doing well with short video testimonial ads, and those are stories specifically, and those are going out to be both Facebook stories and Instagram stories simultaneously. So really with a Facebook targeting, you also get the option to remarket a campaign, which displays your content specifically to users who have visited your website or engaged with your Facebook page previously. So if it, for, for example, if a driver sees your ad, let's call it on Indeed, they will then Google your company, they go to your website, but maybe they don't submit their information on the short form or the long form. We're able to capture that data and then retarget them on social media platforms. And in traditional sales, it's been a very effective method to moving potential customers through the buyer's journey more quickly. When it comes to recruitment marketing, retargeting is just as useful. By targeting potential candidates that have already shown interest and are familiar with your brand, you're able to fully further establish yourself in their minds as the employer that they want to work for. So we're gonna dive deep into ad types specifically. Facebook, as we all know, is a visual platform and has become more visual over the last several years. So in addition to providing recruitment marketers with sophisticated targeting options, Facebook also supports a, several different types of ad formats. So we have image ads, Facebook ads, carousel ads, which are rotation of images or videos, each one with a different link. Um, carousel and video ads do tend to have the best engagements. Slideshow ads and then canvas ads, which are optimized for full screen and mobile experiences. There are several different types and other types of ad formats as well, but these are the most important for recruiters and the golden rule of thumb when it comes to recruitment marketing. Your visual should complement your ad copy and present your company in a very positive light. Each one gives companies a different option for telling a story in pictures, videos, and text about their employer brand. For best results, we encourage our customers to use phones, again, power of the iPhone, and take pictures at a company barbecue, take pictures of current drivers, warehouse workers, diesel techs that are working for your company. Images of brand new equipment do absolutely outstanding. And moreover, driver testimonials, employee testimonials do phenomenal when it comes to Facebook ad targeting. So your employer brand efforts should really reflect your current recruiting goals. If you're at a stage where you're increasing awareness of your employer brand is the key to laying the seeds for future growth, you may want to optimize your strategy to maximize impressions. On the other hand, if you have specific positions that need to be filled, you might be more interested in tailoring your content to maximize click rate or to generate leads. When you're looking at maximizing leads, it's critical to have a clean, easy to use landing page. We often recommend to keep the drivers on Facebook. Facebook does priority um, ad sets that have the call to action within their short forms. So we always keep the driver or the candidate on Facebook and then do a series of follow-up messages so that we are directing them to our client's long form application. When you do create a Facebook ad, 
there's a couple of things that you want to optimize for. And some of these objectives are brand awareness, reach, engagement, traffic, video views, lead generation, messages, and conversations. There are some others, but again, this is what's most relevant during the recruitment process. This is where the alignment between your goals and your content strategy becomes really critical. You can lower your cost per click on Facebook platform by promoting content with a high relevance score relative to the interest of your target audience. By choosing the right goal, the right audience, and the right illustration, your employer brand and EVP will be sure to have a higher relevance revel score of your post and therefore will decrease your overall cost per click. I hope you found this information to be helpful in leveraging this massive, massive tool for recruitment marketing. Thank you so much for tuning in and we'll see you next time.